Hi folks, this is Bill Darby and welcome to episode number 58 of my Bark Stock Discussions. Uh, Bark rose nine cents in trading today to $1.72 and I think it was a response to uh, two different news items that stated that Bark was going to release a uh, line of limited edition toy collections to Chewy. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because uh, I think we're going to make some money. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about is something I'm very proud of. Uh, this is the first year that the majority of my 88 coffee trees have bear, uh, beans on them. Uh, they're in all stages. Uh, this, on a, one tree will be a flower, green beans, and red beans. I think I've got about 200 green beans so far, and, uh, and I'm just getting started. They're just starting to ripen up. And I was thinking, I don't want to do it all by hand. So um, I was going to fly. I'm a United uh, retiree. I was going to fly over to the Philippines and buy one of these, but then I found one on eBay from Brazil and was able to get it. Here it is. This is a uh, coffee depulper. It weighs about 10 pounds. If you had 10 plants, you wouldn't need it. You could do it by hand. If you were a commercial farm with a thousand plants, it's not big enough. You'd have an, uh, something 10 times the size in electric. But for the 88 plants I've got, this little hand crank model is uh, just what I needed. So uh, I'm quite happy. Um, about a week from now, I'm going to be um, uh, uh, soaking the beans to soften them up a little bit, the uh, ripe ones, hand picking them uh, selectively, and uh, uh, running them through this depulper, which separates the cherry from the beans, then um, soaking them for a day to uh, get the goo off of it, the mucilage, and then uh, drying it in the sun for about eight or nine days and then using a roaster that has arrived in the mail. Uh, boy, did I shop around for that. Um, and uh, I'll, I'm in business. So anyway, uh, go Bark, go. How soon will it be before we break $2? Talk to you later.